Hello, I'm Hallie Conyers. Welcome to Hallie's Kitchen. I'm going to show you how to bake cream cheese pound cake. This is one of my favorite cakes. And first I'm going to tell you uh, what is included. I have already measured out some in ingredients, but just to share with you a little of the items that I have included in here. Two sticks of margarine, which is, I can't believe it's butter. One stick of butter. Also include in this pound cake is an eight ounce um, piece of cream cheese. After which, we will add three cups of sugar. We're going to add flavoring. Mmm, this is my son's vanilla extract. He made it himself. And it's my understanding it's going to be named after me. So you know it's good. We will add the flour. We are using plain flour. We will um, crack two eggs at a time. We put two eggs, one cup of flour. Beat it. Add two more cups of flour. Then we add the egg until we have it all mixed in. Now that I have told you about the ingredients that we include. Uh, in the cream cheese cake. I want to let you know you have to have the right equipment. Kitchen aid. This mixer will make you completely lazy. You make sure you got your measuring equipment to, um, tools. Just like with your teaspoons, your measuring spoons, uh, your measuring cups. We want a good spatula. But the most important, once you get all this cake mixed up, the cake mix, you want to make sure that you have a good oven to cook on. And I've been blessed with a gift. I have the Lexus Love oven. It's a dual. And I want to show you. It is a dual fuel freestanding stove. On the top here, you will see it's gas. And you'll see the knobs. Oh, we also have the four eyes with a little press. Most of all, I'm impressed because of the fact that when you open, you have three, three cracks, and you can adjust them like you want to. So it circulates the heat when you take your cake out and remove it. It will have the same color all the way around. I have just mixed the uh, butter, margarine, and also cream cheese. So. With this three ingredients together, I'm going to put it in, under the mixer and let it whip it really, really cream because now it's at room temperature, nice consistency. Wherever you're baking a cake, you always want to have your butter and cream cheese and mar margarine room temperature. Now I'm going to use my kitchen aid to blend the butter, um, margarine, and cream cheese. I need to lock the bowl in place so it won't be flying all over the place. I'm going to lock the head down and just pull the leaf. And you, and you don't have to sit there and watch it. Now that we have creamed the butter and also the margarine and cream cheese, we want to add the sugar. Now that we have the sugar in the mixture of the butter, cream, and cream cheese, we're going to start off slow with the mixer because you start too fast, it really will fly out of the bowl, even with the shield. Um, once it starts mixing together, then you're going to add the vanilla flavor. And it does have the ice cream um, consistency. Because I have eaten it so long, many times, I don't really like it. Once that is done, and we have a nice mixture, we want to start um, adding the eggs. We're going to add two eggs at a time and one cup of flour. The flour, white lily, that's my top flour. It's the plain flour. It works very good. It gives a nice consistency to the cake whenever that you're making it. You won't see all the bubbles like you see a lot of times in the cake if you use self rising. So it gives a nice smooth cut. Um, you don't mind serving it to anyone. Oh, that looks good. Now we have to taste it. Mm, that's good. We're ready to put it in the pan now. I have already sprayed this pan, but I 
use the Baker spray. Always when you're looking for spray, always look for spray that has a flower base. It keeps your cake from sticking. That looks good. too long it gets really really soft and you don't want it to look runny look. We make sure that we get all our batter out. We don't like to waste um, ingredients. All that stuff costs nowadays. They don't do it no longer raising it on the farm like when I was coming along. If you didn't get it all it's okay because we got plenty more. Come on. We'll make sure it's nice and level. So when we put it in the oven Make sure that it's ready. Set in the oven to 325. Uh, we also need to set the hour timing for an hour and 25 minutes. This is our finished product. This is the personal touch. Now we have completed our cream cheese pound cake. Uh, it's time to put the cake in the oven. So, oh, it, it looks good. Wow. Very nice. Okay, here over to the cabin. Turn it out. Ah. <sighs> Not bad. Huh. Thank you for joining Hallie in Hallie's Kitchen. We now know how to make a cream cheese pound cake. See you the next time.